Okay, well, obviously, each situation is different, and you know, you 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 have people who who have died at different ages. But if we take a, a, a typical or hopefully typical situation where someone has died at a ripe old age and they may have children and grandchildren, I think it can be very very nice to have children uh, contribute. And you know, maybe if there's two sons and a, a daughter or whatever, um, they don't all have to speak. But maybe for the three of them to go. To, to go up together, and even if one of them speaks, for the three of them to stand there as a, as a sort of a, a show of solidarity, and I think there's a, a very nice feel to that. And then maybe the grandchildren, depending on age, um, speak as well. And I think y- you get a lovely sense of, of continuum there, where you're saying farewell to someone uh, of one generation, and you can see the other generations coming along. And I think that's comforting, and I think it, it, it's a very nice gesture. Um, Often people when they're speaking may uh, have had the opportunity to to look through diaries or letters or there may have been emails sent at the time of death you know which maybe have some phrases which very much capture the essence, a phrase I, I use a lot, very much capture the essence of the person and I think those can be lovely to share and can, can make it very special and, and very real.